In health news now, an FDA advisory panel recently approved the lap band procedure for people with a lower body mass index to help them shed some pounds. And Griffin Hospital here in Connecticut took part in that FDA clinical trial. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa joins us now with more on that. Jocelyn? Sonia, most of the patients in the study had health issues such as high cholesterol, depression, or were pre-diabetic, all linked to that weight gain. But after undergoing lap band gastric adjust adjustable surgery, they were able to lose the pounds and improve their overall health picture. Lisa Moholt had excruciating knee pain and after losing 100 pounds, mobility was no longer a problem. Well, I couldn't walk. Yeah, I felt horrible about myself. I didn't want to do things, you know, withdrawn, you know, hated going out, hating to get dressed and, you know, being in front of people. And I own my own business and it was just a downward spiral for me. So, and now it's completely changed. I feel great. I have energy. You know, I'm taking life by the horns. It was a way to really look at patients before they have medical problems. And, and the cost savings are dramatic. It's, once you're diagnosed, for example, with diabetes, your mortality uh, increases almost exponentially from that day on. In this population, it would be better to operate on somebody who ha will have diabetes tomorrow, and so they'll never get it. And to help Bariatric surgeon Dr. Tim Ehrlich was a principal investigator in the study. He says the focus was on patients who were moderately obese, 50 to 75 pounds over and who failed to shed the weight using traditional methods. Dr. Ehrlich says the use of lap band surgery for this specific group is all about preventative care. Full FDA approval could come sometime this year. Darren and Sonia. All right. John.